In the previous steps of our workflow, we used descriptive names of our components. Now it's time to set their coding. Use assembly copper tool to set the new codes for the existing assembly. We will use assembly copper in the rename mode. Make sure that you have description field in the column list. In order to keep descriptive file names, let's copy those values to description. Once it's done, we can use tree counter to set up the new file names. Let's apply the tree counter to new file names. Now we can apply a replacement tool to remove copy of from the description. Now, once it's done, we can use rename tool to apply the changes. Once it's done, the file is closed automatically. You need to open it again using the link in the assembly copy. Take a look at the files on the browser. The names was changed. However, we can use Visibility Control Notes tool to say that we want to see description in the file names. As you can see, besides the fact that we have set the new file names, we can still see those descriptive names in the browser. Now, once the coding has been done, we are ready to go for the next steps.